Professor Dick Stevenson from Harvard University. I'm here interviewing Will Tully about his new discovery of this Beowulf ship. So would you like to tell me a little bit about it, please, sir? Yes, um, this ship, very intricate. You can see there's uh, a head here to, uh, whatever you call it, intimidate the uh, enemy. When you see it coming through the fog, it's very intricate and scary. Um, next, we found some gold artwork here. This was obviously some sort of helmet to uh, keep the person safe who was wearing it. We found a wing. This is so they could fly. And, <laughs> and they could, uh, they could, they could <coughs> swoop in on their uh, opponent and win the battle that they were fighting. Put, put the stuff here. So, sir, can you tell me a little bit about the fork on the side of the ship? Oh, yes, this fork was um, actually a very important piece. We, uh, we, we had to apply some duct tape because it wasn't on, but but it's here. So when people try to steal our wings, and they <laughs> swoop, in, <laughs> they actually land on the <laughs> they land on the fork, and it uh, and it kills them. I can see that the ship is uh, quite unstable on the t table. Would you care to explain <laughs> to me how this might float in water? In water, it is very stable. It's actually. Uh, <laughs> These, as you can see, these um, sails very are sturdy. Very, very sturdy. Yes, they uh, they actually hold the wind quite nicely because they are, in fact, made out of the material. That so is very I also noticed that there is a dead-looking soldier who has um, air vents going into a life support system on his chest. Would you care to explain that? <laughs> yes. So um, in the early days of mankind, we were actually very advanced. Ah. And okay. um. They needed air because, as you can see, this person has no cheeks, so oh, he cannot exactly. breathe very well because he doesn't have any cheeks. Okay. All right, Mr. Tolley. Uh, so would you like to tell me more about the uh, geometric figures around the boat? And can you care to yes. explain a little bit about yes. this? Yes. So you can see if you split this piece into three sections, here, here, so there's here, here, here. Um, this is a kind of a rectangle kind of shape. Absolutely. Yes. Um. That helped with stability a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's a kind of triangle triangle piece here. <laughs> helped with uh, kind of momentum in the water. Also helped with angular velocity. Absolutely. Yes, and uh, you can see it can go backwards as fast as it can go forwards. Mm -hmm. Symmetrical. And I see the battering ram on the top to smash down castle walls. Oh, definitely, definitely. So what they would do is they would get lots of speed and crash into things with this. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, very stable. Uh, I, I actually don't think it's very stable. It's held together with duct tape. Uh, we had to, um, we had to... Was it more stable back when it was in working? Right, I understand, yeah, yeah. I understand that this was, um, that this happened, this was thousands of years ago. Okay. I would also, now, also, would you care, please, please yeah, explain please to tell me us more about the, the body himself. Yes. This shield seems very strange. It yes. looks like he's holding something that I would not like to speak about right now. Um, and, and obviously the sword that he's holding has some sort of, like, tube? Ah, oh, darn. <laughs> that sucks. But look, look at this, look, just, just look at the, look at this. This was from the year 800. How, Dude, how does this happen? Sir, how does this happen? How does this happen? Like I said, like I said, they were very advanced, but they actually brought back people that were from the dead. Ah, okay. And this, so, this and how does it? How does a weapon? <laughs> why would you want to revive someone with a killing machine? What Dude, is the logic well, behind that? Well, this blue light, as you can see, it uh, it slowly starts and it gets faster and faster, and that is the soul of some of <laughs> Beowulf's family, ah, most okay. likely Cain. Most Beowulf was not related to Cain, sir. Yeah, yeah, he is. No, he is. that was Grendel and his mother. Grendel, yeah, that's totally what I meant. Now, do you think? Would do you, you tell think me that? Tell more about the do, armor, please. Sir, no, sir, sir. This ship is horrible. Now, can, sir, do you think that this might be Grendel's head? No, that's uh, obviously not his head. This was. This is Grendel's mother. The that geometric is, shapes <laughs> imply that it is not. This triangle here implies that it is not. But I, as I recall, Beowulf had a strange connection with Grendel's head, and I believe that this might be. Oh no! Don't you know, gonna revive him? <laughs> Come on, man! Um, okay. I think we should take. Sir, this sir, sir, sir! I need. To, I need to ask you a question. What the hell are you wearing a, a reflector vest for? Well, it's all about safety. 
And yeah, ah, okay. I mean, as you can see, this is uh, <coughs> not quite stable in uh, on the on the on the table. So and uh, actually, this Dick is actually a support. Ah, first. okay, okay. Support, and I see this is very reflective. Um, yes. So now, Dick, I understand you were on the expedition team that found uh, the ship while you were on a hunt with Sasquatch. I Did was. you also notice that Sasquatch had um, reflective elements yes, of his yes. body? Yes, I think this is a real. I'm not anywhere How do you, to so, yes, that's, sir, that seems sir, like a very sir. safe person. In my okay, opinion. okay. So, I so, think we need to take this boat into pit my boat. I think we need to as well. 